This is game number... I have no idea. Um, can I count? Uh, 15. So this, this is, we've played 15. This is game number 16 of the Prowl Run. This is what our team looks like. This is what our opponent's team looks like. They've got a nice bludge vampire. They've got all six vampires. It's uh, rowdy and I love it. Four rerolls. Strength up through all means this team's very punchy. They've got a leader for a fifth reroll. They've got a dirty boy. It's a nice vampire team, actually. And the agility vampire is really, really nice. Slightly light on skills uh, on the vampires, but it's a it's a pretty intimidating team. Um, that's a perfectly decent record for starting vampires. Vampires are quite hard to get going. We will take a wizard. Um, and probably that's it. I'd like a babe, but I also really want Bank to start buying more players. So I think we just take the wizard and make do. How long is my last vamp run? I tried them a season or two ago and I couldn't get them off the ground. Um, they were my first team in Rebel and I played them a lot. I don't know if I ever got good at them despite playing them a lot. And this season um, is a pretty competitive vampire race because Eliod and Galenic are both in it so I'd probably not the season to do it if I'm going to. There wasn't any tackle. No, they've only got one bludge and there's no tackle, but they're going to have five rerolls with a leader. Okay, going straight on defense, um, which I think makes sense. It's what I would expect. Putting vampires in the line also um, would be what I would expect because you don't expect elves to punch you too much. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go straight for that leader. That's what I'm going to do in response to all this. And I'm going to go for a quick score because vampires are much happier on defense than on offense. So let's see if we can do anything with that. Slightly weird, uneven setup. Lovely. Um, yeah, we'll try and take it on you, so I want to get on. Nice. Oh. Lovely. Didn't die, it's a little bit rude. Why not? Coming straight on through without worrying about um, having any thralls around to deal with potential bloodlust fails. This is smart, taking out the middlemen, and they can see that I'm looking for the quick score, so taking out the middlemen so I can't just um, do a handoff somewhere because players with hypnogaze can't catch. So yeah, I like this um, I like this play by my opponent because they know that I don't really want to hand the ball off to and pass with a um, loner. And then next mission, I guess, is try to look after the scoring threats. 
that's an annoying pow on the butch. It's a much more annoying KO on the butch. Definitely not scoring this turn. Actually, that care is really annoying because the, the movement advantage is one of the few things we've got here that um, can really make our life easier um, for these turns. So losing a movement eight player right away is not helpful. Pokemon's had pretty good dice. I mean, they've made um, five out of six of these hypno gazes. They haven't rolled any bud last yet. All of that, not the most helpful. Okay, so I am going to put Sam. That's very helpful. Because now there is only one vampire in range to bother us, so they can hypnogaze, but they can't hypnogaze and hit. So that would be a very bad time for a snake. So I'm glad it wasn't. Um, let's keep hitting this leader. Disappointing. Click GFI. Okay, didn't have an iPod. Didn't have a full click there. Okay. When vampires roll well, they're a lot to deal with. And so far, these ones are rolling pretty well. Um, yeah, like we need them to not make all the hypno gazes, we need them to fail some bloodlusts. Which should happen eventually, you know, it does normally. Because D6s will fail over time. Oh, that's a nice double skull. There you go. That's the leader reroll used. Good. They've activated all six both turns and they haven't bloodlusted yet, and so they're definitely due for one. Okay, they didn't they didn't activate all six, I lied. They did. Didn't do the last one in the end. Okay, so we can get two dice on that one. We also might just want to dodge it.
gosh, that there. It's a bit annoying. It's actually very annoying because now I'm going to have to do a GFI. I didn't want to do. It's meant to go there. Oh well. This is going to be a hairy turn. I'm kind of just going to be counting on the fact that they have not got dodge on these players. And therefore, some things should, at some point, fail. You've just activating. I think you are. We've rolled a lot of ones. Our opponent, not so much. So this is just an easy hit on the ball and another dead player. All right, well, I shouldn't have used that upper. I'm just frustrated of losing players with skills every single game. So I thought, sod it, if we lose players now, the team dies anyway. And the apo failed anyway, because that's the way the game is going. We've rolled more ones in four dice there than they've rolled in like 15 already. such a frustrating day of Blood Bowl so far. Like the Apo failing two out of two times of use it today really takes the Mickey on top of everything else. No failures here, what a surprise. When are we going to get a break? Come on, this season's been so exhausting. Like, they had ways to hit that, even if that succeeds, right? But at least it takes some players and uses some dice. Like, this is just ridiculous. They literally haven't rolled a bloodlust in 11, 12, like 13 rolls. They haven't rolled one. We've managed to roll snakes. Like, not even like had one used to re roll. Like, literally have not rolled a bloodlust roll yet. Oh my god, they actually have a one on the dice. It actually happened once. Incredible scenes. All right. <sighs> 
still not good. Still not a good position. I don't know who does this, but it's like, do we rowdy dodge with you? Do we take a one dice with you? Or do we dodge hit with a loner? They're all bad. They're all bad options. That's really the best, because then it's the, the two dice. Better off leaving it. Again, not saying it's good. I'm just saying every option's bad, aren't I? If it came here, that gets a. No, it doesn't get a one dice. Obviously just a very hittable ball. Not much I can do about that. Try and tie up some thralls. I could rather make them roll this dodge than take that and fail it, although it does at least cover a bit. Okay. Just makes the recovery angle slightly worse. Really would like to see some bloodlust at some point in this half. No, they did just roll a snake, but still no bloodlust fails at all. Which means they're just like not having to move their thralls and think about that at all. That's good. So now they have to do it from there with the. No, they just move afterwards. Do they do get the double pal? And the injury. It's a dead team. It's a dead team now. It's yeah. It's it's a dead team. There's not enough here to to keep. It literally every single injury we saw today has been on a um has been on a player not a loner. It's never been a loner. Like even though we fielded like four and five loners, every single injury has been on a a player that we care about. Um. Never like someone without skills, always someone with skills, and both of our apothecaries we've tried have failed. So it's been pretty brutal. I'll try and finish the game, see if we can save something. That's so rough. That really is. Like, we've used the apothecary as well. We've had two casualties. They've both been in 
perms. There's no mighty bow on this team. There's no tackle on this team. Why is that? Like we haven't played a single a single mighty bow opponent in yet today, and yet we've had what like four or five perms on good players with both Apo sailing. It's just ridiculous. Just non-stop today. Um, yeah, you do get more bad injuries in than you rules. That's a bad bad loss, actually. Although it's the edge four ones, edge five ones, they'll probably get out. Yeah. How come that wasn't a four plus? That was based. Is it any if they're not cancelled? I can't remember. We're going to do a fireball here with one of our players under it. Because this game's basically lost unless something very swingy happens. Oh, it's another power on a bludger. Why not? Dead, I assume. Only a KO. Yeah, I'm pretty close conceding this game and, and uh, calling that the end of the pro off run. Okay, didn't get down the play with the ball, unfortunately, so still probably not good enough. Um, if we can hit this out of the way, we might get two dice on it. Nothing about this drive has gone how I wanted it to. I was trying to score quickly, but at this point we're trying to score just any time we can. Two stuns do help. It's 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 not that nice, Shepard. I mean, it's pretty desperate. Like it, it got us the ball for a second, but we're still not in a good scoring position. We've lost our wizard for defense. We're at a maximum of nine of nine players in the second half. Like it's not, it doesn't really save anything. It's just a frustrated tilt fireball that got us the ball back for a second. Like it's very easy for them to get it back again. It's just a two plus and then two dice again. Looks us down. Arm break, because why wouldn't it be? Removal, because why wouldn't it be? Imagine imagine being able to get blocked once without being removed. What a scene that would be. I'm frustrated now. I'm just very frustrated. The whole day has been really miserable. Like, I do try to be a cheery person, but 
there comes a point of getting dice where it just stops being possible to stay cheery. Obviously. It's the one time they can afford it. They've got players there. It's only the second one they've rolled in the whole game. Okay, that's good at least. It's also good. We just got to go for the ball here, don't we? Um, actually, if we blitz this away, there's only a two plus dodge out. So actually, that's better. So, what we need to do is move you wherever. And then we can bring you through on our two plus dodge. And then we can hit you. Good enough. Stay. I guess just there. Um, are we taking the GFIs? Can't get fully out of range of all the annoying stuff they can do. Doing the GFIs would just improve our chances of them not having good recovery at the end of it. Good. Okay, that's pretty handy. All right, might score yet. Might score yet. They have finally started rolling some bloodlust. Managed not to remove one time, which is nice. If you could kill the leader, that would also be nice. To be fair, they have removed their own players pretty rapidly as well. And that is the Apo. Not surprised, it's a leader. They also need it not to be below 11 players for the next half. So if they can hypno this, they've got one dice on the ball. still gonna have to oh no if they do both these hypnos they can save the dodge they get this one up now and hit there there and it's no dodge which is pretty nice for them Doesn't change anything for this turn. Okay, so two plus two plus six plus. <laughs> obviously, obviously, you make the six plus. And then catch it as well. Just spiteful levels of dice. Oh, 
That's regen, unfortunately, for us. Ball goes out. Goes somewhere bad. Mm, could be worse, but definitely could be better. Okay, so we're back to potatoing on bludge. Um... I think since we've got two rerolls, they might as well take the GFIs. Because none of these can use the rerolls anyway, because they're loners. Well, they can use them, just not likely to work. Maybe should have left that one, I don't know. Didn't think about it. Okay. Gets out. They definitely can hit this ball, and I think they can do it on two dice pretty easily as well. Maybe I should have brought you all up to there, actually. It's slightly harder to hit now there. But we've got Bludge. They don't have Tackle. There's at least some chance. Bad start. So they can fail the bird last year, it doesn't affect them. They've just got to do have to do a GFI. Okay. Doesn't get us. All right. Finally, something breaks our way. Good. Um, Raven, our team has gone into the dice bin just like everything else today. Um, but yes, we have finally managed to get ourselves on the ball and in a possible scoring position, so that's good. I think we might as well take the blitz here. It doesn't cost us anything since we'll be dodging off with dodge skill anyway. We don't have a scoring threat, so we don't have to worry about that. Removal means they would be capped at 10 for the second half, so it's worth trying. Nope. Well, we scored. That's something. And that is something. Uh, time's been 36. I'm sorry you followed 11 minutes ago and I missed it, so sorry I missed you. And um, uh, I could have done Jurgen. Um, it would have been with a... Without block, I suppose without block, still one out of 81, better than one in 36. Yeah, that's fair enough. That is fair enough, isn't it? Still, it's still better. Um, I was probably a bit more focused on the removal, which maybe was not the right way to go. Can't do a one turn defense because we haven't got enough players. Really am tired of getting banged out by teams with my mighty bow, which is a pro -L thing. Like, that does happen to pro -Ls, but it still feels like we've been really, really unlucky. I mean, well, we just have been unlucky with the apothecaries and with the fact that none of our casualties ever hit the loners. They always hit the important players. No, 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 that's not too much, Jurgen. That's not too much. I, you know, I, I'm quite aware that I tilted pretty hard just in the middle of that drive um, so I'm aware that probably there were several things I could have done better movement 6-1 turn with vampires is tough but it's definitely doable they've got all 11 players it's one of those where if they make it you sort of have to say well fair enough that's quite well done got bits instead which we can't do anything with Man, even that. Like, it's our first blitz roll in ages. We can't do anything with it. Uh, 
Ah, no, on a sea search session. That's, that's really, I guess. Oh, that's nice. Could have avoided that too. They could have given themselves a bloodless bite. Okay, so we've made it to the second half at 1 0 up. Looks like we might have some KOs back from that animation, which is nice. They're still on 11. Okay, so we're back to 9. We've lost our wizard, which is a real bummer, but vampires are a lot happier on defense than offense, so. Um, maybe there's a chance or something. Um, put our bulletproof loners in the line. Do a nice four two, maybe. Not with these players, but I just position it first and then swap them. So we'll obviously put a strength four in the back line. Mm -mm. Love the formation name. Oh, was the one that was up there. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. It's a shame they got the regen and the, uh, I mean, the app on that was automatic because it was badly hurt, but yeah, having one vampire off and having that leader off would both be very nice. a real bum having lost that wrestle because we lost our wrestle line in the previous game so we've now got no wrestle and no attack on the team which stinks okay free rerolls nice i'll be interested to see if they go for a quick score um you know the eight turn stall is often not the one for vampires it's quite tough But, um, yeah, we'll see. Churgeon is very, very good at the Blood Bowl, so a good person to get advice from. I'm sure Blood Bowl not has already worked that out. Can they keep up? their high rate of bloodlust removals. They didn't roll bloodlust for a really long time at the start of this game, but the actual bloodlust once they started coming have led to a few casualties. Oh, that's nice. Haven't picked the ball up yet. They eat it. Interesting. Can get some pressure on this. Could put some side step on the ball, I think. I mean, it is an edge five vampire back there, but it's still worth doing, I reckon. Theory, we could even pick the ball up. We'll be asking for some dice, but who doesn't want to ask for some dice sometimes? Um, okay, that helps. Um, Nice. Take this hit. Because we're going to get you around with one GFI. You can be there. You are going to maybe make a play on the ball. I think you come back. I think guard, much so I don't love committing guard to this, just tagging that is annoying.
because if we overcommit, right, like they just they just get us with the edge five shenanigans, right? So better not to to overdo it. We just keep you there. Yeah, I'm going for it. We did get a free reroll. And it will make life harder if it's being held by a blodge player. Okay, oh well. It's a shame. And that's now not too hard to get because of the edge five. I think that was worth the reroll. Because if we're holding it there on bludge, then that's suddenly a lot more complicated for them. Like they have to knock us down. Whereas now they can unfortunately just ignore us because of the edge five. Oh, that's good bloodlust though. Although I suppose you'd probably just throw it from here. Don't even know if you need to dodge. Might have been a two plus anyway. Oh, a snake here would be nice. It is a snake here. Hello. Oh, that was a KO. That was a weird interaction of the dice. So they obviously rolled the pass first and then rolled the injury. So you saw the pass happen. And a concede. I think there was a blue screen there. Wow. Maya saved our team. At least gives us some cash, hopefully, to try and get a catcher back. I was not expecting to concede there. Wowza. Oh, thunderstorms starting here. Maybe that's why the internet was well because of thunderstorms. Well then, that's an annoying MVP. Um, on a player we tried to save. Um, I was not expecting to concede there. Um, I will take it. Um given how rough things have been this morning. I will definitely take that. Um, that was game number... Oh, I'm so bad at counting. <laughs> 14, 16 on the Pro-Elf team. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I guess I guess I might try and keep it going after I concede because I can at least buy another catcher team is really thin. One, two, three, four, five, six. But the win makes the record look better than I thought it was going to when I was saying the team was done. Like, I assumed that was going to be a draw at best and probably a loss. Um, at some point, at some point, like, it ha we'll, we have to get a game because there'll just be so many loners where we don't get one of our non-loner players permed. I don't know when, but at some point, 